Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video we are going to learn how to create this logo reveal animation in After Effects. To create this animation, you can use any type of logo you want. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported the video files and the logo that I'm going to use for this example. So first of all, we are going to create a new composition. So go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080. Frame rate you can go with 30 FPS and duration 10 seconds. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition and we are going to call this logo. So for this one, we are going to set the width and height to 800 by 800 and as for the things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now first, let's open up the logo comp and I'm going to drag my logo. So I'm going to use this YouTube logo. So just drag it into the composition. After that, you can select the layer, press S and then you can just scale it something like this. Now let's go back to our main composition and now I'm going to drag this logo comp just like this. Now we want a solid background so for that we are going to go to layer just make sure you are inside the composition just go to layer new solid and from here we are going to select a little bit of off white color something like this after that just click on ok now we have this white solid now just select this layer and place it below the logo now let's import our video and just simply drag it inside this composition and after that we are going to make this logo appear from this white solid so for that we are going to use a track mat so that means wherever this logo is present it will be transparent and all the other part will be this white solid so before that let's duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to rename it so you can just simply select the layer then press return or enter and after that we can rename it to logo final just like this so now I'm going to select this and parent it to this layer. If you're not able to see this parent option, you can just simply right click and after that you can enable this. So now we have these two logo files and in order to do the track mat, you have to make sure that your track mat option is visible. So if you're not able to see these option, you can just simply click over here just like this. So now before that, let's select this and Make sure you have selected the white solid and after that you can select the alpha inverted. So now you can see we have created this alpha inverted mask but you are not able to see this because we have this logo layer on top of it. So if I hide it, here you can see now we are able to see the video file which is below this. So let's animate our logo. So I'm going to select the logo then press S for scale and I'm going to add a scale keyframe. So in the beginning, I want this to be really big so that it completely reveals our video. And after that, let's move to somewhere around here and let's scale it down to something like this. So this is completely up to you, however big you want your logo to be. So I think this looks good. So now if I play back, here you can see we have this kind of animation. In order to make it more interesting, you can select the keyframes, then press F9 or you can right click, go to keyframe assistant, then easy ease and make sure your keyframes are selected. Then you can go inside the graph editor and if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph. After that, you can just simply select the endpoints and just make it look something like this. So now if I play back here, you can see now our animation looks much better. So let's go outside this graph editor and now I'm going to do the reveal animation. So in order to do that, we are going to enable this, but we want this to come only after our animation has happened. So somewhere around here, I'm going to press T for opacity and I'm going to add a keyframe and lower down its opacity to zero. And after that, somewhere around here, I'm going to make it 100% so that you can see our logo reveals at the end just like this so this is exactly what we want now we are pretty much done with this animation so our last step is to add our text so in order to do that just simply go to the text tool and you can type whatever you want you can type your channel name so i'm going to type motion nations and after that you can select your text and just scale it down and place it wherever you want 
So I'm using this align panel. If you're not able to see this, then you can go to windows and after that enable this just like this. Now we can play around with its position so you can move it somewhere around here just like this. Now you will notice that there is a lot of cap in the top area than in the bottom area so you can fix that by simply selecting the logo layer and I'm going to add a position animation so let's press P on the keyboard for position and add a keyframe. Now let's move our timeline indicator to somewhere around here and after that I can change its position and just make it go up something like this and I'm going to do the same thing with the text so in the beginning I want my text to be somewhere around here and just add a keyframe and after that I can just simply move it wherever I want so I think this looks good now you can check out the animation so now let's select both of these keyframes then press F9 to easy ease them and after that you can again go to the graph editor and you can change the graph to look something like this just like that so now if I play back here you can see we have this kind of animation which looks good now the only thing is that we want our text to appear after so for that we are going to use the opacity animation so press T for opacity and add a keyframe and I can just simply move it ahead and in the beginning I want this to be at zero just like this so maybe let's move it somewhere around here yeah so I think this is looking good there's one more thing if you want you can just place it below our logo layer just like this so that it appears behind from the logo so now if I play back here you can see we have created our animation now let me show you how easy it is to change the logo so let's say you want to use different logo so all you have to do is just simply go to the logo comp and from here you can drag whatever logo you want so I'm going to use this motion nations logo let me just quickly hide this layer and after that you can just simply scale it so that it appears in the composition just like this and if I go back here you can see our logo has updated now if I go into the beginning you can see we are able to see the white background so you might have to fix few things so let me just quickly open up the scale and all I have to do is just simply scale it up so now you can see we are back with the logo animation and you can probably change the scale to something like this so that it looks really nice so now if I play back here you can see we have changed the complete animation and now we have a different logo so this is how you can create this type of animation and you can use it in your videos now here is another tip if you want to render this out with a transparent background all you have to do is just simply remove this video layer and if you click over here you can see that now we are able to see the transparent part so if you want to render this out in a transparent format all you have to do is just simply make sure you are inside the composition then you can go to comp add to render queue and after that you can click on lossless and from here you can select the quick time and under format make sure you are in the animation and after that from channels you can select the rgb plus alpha now just click on ok and you can select the location where you want to save this file and after that just simply click on render and once the render is complete you will notice that it will have this transparent background so you can just simply place this logo reveal animation in your video footage and it will start working so i hope you learned something from this video and if you guys want to download the project files those are available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there you can download it from there and if you want to learn more things like this then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.